but just take a moment to rest in this time before things get a little bit crazy. Hello, dear Gemini. Welcome to your October 2020 reading. We did get a card that came out in the pre-shuffle. I am going to remove it. This particular card indicates that you may be having some bickering and fighting between you and another person during the month of October. It also could just in, uh, indicate some sort of internal struggle, something that you're dealing with. These cards have all been pre-shuffled, so we're just going to split the deck on camera. All right. October <laughs> brings us the Knight of Wands. The Hierophant, the High Priestess, the Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Five of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords, a beautiful past, the Death card. All right, so the present has come to a crashing halt. And the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Magician. Ah, the Tower. So that's what I was seeing here. All right. So, Gemini. Bear with me one moment. Let me plug the, the plug this in for you so we don't lose battery. There we go. All right, so right here at the very center of everything, the core of your entire reading for October, we have the Magician and the Chariot. This particular Chariot, while the Chariot is often moving forward, having a sense of success, a sense of, of um, you know, moving forward in some area of your life, this particular Chariot's not moving at all. The Finxes are just sitting there. You could see where there is potential here. Ooh, the Gemini. Do not fall in love with someone's potential. I'm not sure who that was for, but there's this, this focus on the fact that you can see the potential. You could see where there, this has a potential to move towards, right? You're trying to create something new in your life, but yet we've had an ending. And the most unfortunate part of all of that is that we had an ending of something that was absolutely positively beautiful. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands. Somebody took some sort of action, whether that was you or another person, Gemini, someone took some sort of action towards having this new beginning, towards communicating. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. Brand new direction, brand new growth, brand new possibility and then all of a sudden everything comes to a crashing halt with the tower with the hierophant here gemini I, I feel like you may feel that you're being judged harshly that you could be being judged by somebody for your choices there could be some regrets about your decisions in life. There's a strong focus on spirituality. It's almost like whatever this was had to come to an end for a brief moment. For a brief moment in order for you to take a pause in your life, Gemini. So... For whatever reason, you're in need of a pause. If you have not yet taken that pause, it may be spirit saying, whoa, Gemini, stop everything you're doing right now. Stop the presses. Yes, everything is going to be moving towards success. That's wonderful, that's fabulous. But just take a moment to rest in this time before things get a little bit crazy, before things get overly burdensome. Now the death card indicates a need to release some sort of past cycle, past difficulty, past struggle, to heal the, old, the wounds of the past in order to heal the present, to release the wounds of the past in order to get this chariot moving again.
please excuse the outside road noises. I live in a very large city and we apparently have some dirt bikes outside. So, as you move forward towards the end of the month, Gemini, it's interesting. I feel like this entire situation that you've just recently been through, this entire situation has been brought about to create this deeper connection between you and your higher self, you and your higher power, to raise your vibration and move your journey forward. It's had to happen the way it's happened because without the difficulties from the past, you wouldn't realize what is coming in the future. Somebody's had their pride bruised. Gemini, if that's you, we need to figure out, you know, what's the reason for that? Try to work through it and release it. If somebody else, if somebody else's ego got in the way of this connection, there's some work that needs to be done on them before they can come towards you. I see this Knight of Pentacles. The Knight is bringing that Ace of, Co Ace of Coins back. They took off with the Ace of Coins. They're bringing the Ace of Coins back. But they're just currently standing still going, I had this new opportunity. I didn't know what to do with it. And so I took a wrong turn. Now I'm faced at a crossroads and I don't know which way to go. So your person is in need of a little bit of extra time space to, to figure that out. If it's a job that came and went, there's a new one on its way. It's just taking its sweet time getting to you. Let's see if there's anything else that I see here. I just really see a strong focus on spirituality here between these two cards. And in your intuition, you will also find the truth. In solitude, you will find the truth. If there has been a secret withheld from you. It's interesting if you notice the sun is yellow coming up over the horizon right and here is the yellow Gemini this could be you saying you know what yes something got cut out yes I've had to have this momentary pause on my journey but what I'm wanting notice all the yellow yellow here yellow here yellow here yellow in the ace of pentacles yellow in the headdress of the hierophant yellow in the knights uh, attire there's a focus on the fact that if you release this negative situation from the past that up ahead of you is the sun is that beautiful new happiness that beautiful new direction but it requires you to get things moving again towards what it is that you hope and you wish for to recognize you have the strength and the confidence to go after this to recognize that through that crown chakra you can access spirit to give you guidance and direction and to recognize that sometimes happiness first is found within ourselves but sometimes happiness comes in in different forms different packages the happiness you seek is all around you in this particular card all right let's see what else we get for you The fate, <laughs> the fates. All right, so that's fate and destiny, right? Getting to your wishes, your hopes, your dreams via fate and destiny. Fate is what happens as a result of our choices. Destiny is what we cannot, what we cannot stop from happening. So perhaps this ending was a destined ending because you're on a new path now. You're heading on a new direction. Let's see what love says. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This is saying that, you know, if, if this is all surrounding one person, this person may be far different from what you're used to. There also could be some sort of societal taboo associated with your connection. Additionally, it's possible that you're moving towards someone new and spirit is saying, make sure you keep an open mind because this new person is going to, it's not going to be quite what you expect. All right. And 
sea turtle with regards to your career, stability. So if it's a job, you are gonna be able to find that sense of stability. There's peace in the stability as well. Um, sea turtle can often be seen as kind of that going with the flow energy and you find that sense of stability in going with the flow. That's the number eight is here, which is often associated with hard work, hard work and effort. So Gemini, in the extended, um, I am going to take a spread for, for love for October, since love really didn't truly come out here. It might have for some of you. Um, so I'm going to take, take a spread for love. And let me also find, I'm going to take some cards between you and another person. So you and Leo, you and Aries, and you and Libra. So you, you and Leo, Aries, and Libra, all right? Just a few cards for each. Let's see. Aries. Where's my Libra card? I don't see them. That's an interesting. Okay, so there's Libra and then Leo. We'll find the Leo card between now and then. So I'm gonna take some cards on y'all. And um, so I'll take a, a spread on love for October. I'll take a sp first, and then I'll take a spread on career for October. And then also these three signs associated with you, what's going on for the month of October. All right, so if the, in if the extended's of interest to you, stay tuned for the extended preview, and I shall see you again soon. Love and light to you, bye-bye. Hello, Gemini. I started to shuffle your pre, <laughs> your, your clarifiers, and spirit said, "Hey, we want to show you what's going on." So, some have already fl flown the coop here. So let's see. I'm going to take a couple, couple more cards on this, and then we'll dig into love, and then we'll see where that goes. Oh, that's associated with this. All right, it looks like Gemini, it looks like you're letting somebody go. Uh, it's like in, in the month of October, there's a focus on you. Less of a focus on you and another person. Obviously though, we are gonna take some love cards though. And like I said, focus on you. Okay, the Hermit. Excuse the road noise. Temperance, Queen of Cups. All right, so in the past, let's look at the past. Ooh, that's tough. In the past with the Knight of Wands, the Temperance card, and the Queen of Cups, there's this, there was this focus on, you know, trying to deal with everything that's happening in your life, trying to deal with it in a very loving manner. There's somebody here who you were very passionate about, felt very strongly about, could have been Sagittarius, could have been Cancer or another Gemini and it looks like with the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles this may have felt like a brand new opportunity for you very exciting you're wanting to take a leap of faith you're wanting to go move forward be sure to hit that subscribe button subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings and I love to be able to connect with you energetically so don't forget to hit that button also please share these with your friends and family you never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.